I really don't see why people don't like this controller. You just grab it, and ah, uh, perfect. What's up guys, Roll here with Seek Fire Play, and as you can see I got a pretty interesting mail call today. As some of you may know, there was a Kickstarter started by uh, Retro Fighters for this N64 Brawler pad uh, not that long ago. I went ahead and backed it. It looked pretty interesting. Uh, a lot of people that I know personally uh, backed it as well. And uh, I figured I might not just give it a shot. Um, I personally never had an issue with the N64 controller. Uh, the original just, it was just fine to me. Although uh, a lot of people do not really like it. Um, a lot of friends that I know really don't like it. Uh, but it's okay. Um, I'm a little biased. It's one of my favorite systems. So, But, uh, you know, I'm not against trying new things and uh, giving these a shot. Um, also, what was really interesting is, as you can see, it has kind of like a new gen design. Uh, I really like the uh, Xbox 360 and the Xbox One controllers. This kind of has a, you know, similar uh, style to it, so even better. Uh, I ordered a few of these, um, and I wanted to check them out. So backers got early access to these and uh, reduced pricing. Um, they also have an option to do um, colored controllers. They sent out a survey to backers and uh, kind of give us a couple of options on what kind of controllers you would like to see. But that should happen in the future and they should be available to everybody. So yeah, now that I got my hands on these, let's go ahead and try them out. All right, now let's take a look at what we actually got. Uh, here is the box that it came in. Um, it does not have the look of the original N64 boxes, which is okay. Uh, it does kind of remind me of those um, those other controllers like the Super Pad 64 and the uh, it's like the, the driving racing wheel one uh, they had this uh, I guess this color scheme that's what it really reminds me of it shows you the controller on the front retro fighters on the top right nothing on the bottom and then another shot of the controller on the left side now on the back gives you a little rundown of uh, pretty much what it is uh, go ahead and pause it if you wanted to take a look at that. Uh, so, yeah. Other than that, let's move on. Did come with this little manual here. Does not give uh, give too much. Just a little thank you for uh, purchasing. Uh, set up the goods. Let you know that it does work on legacy hardware, which is the N64, and a bunch of other information um, about them. So. Anything you want to check out, just go ahead and pause. There we go. All right. There's that, and the controller itself. Now, uh, they do, they did have the option to get uh, colored controllers. That is going to come in the future, but I opted for the regular gray one, which I don't mind. I like playing with uh, the regular ones now. Have four of those up and running. Um, yeah. Uh, first, first glance and first. Feel it, it's it's very light. Um, I don't want to say it feels cheap, but it it's it feels I don't know like very 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 light. Um, same button scheme as the N64, obviously. Start button, D-pad, joystick. Now, obviously, you can tell that it does not have the third holder thing. Uh, that has all been removed and placed up here uh, two Z buttons uh, ports for the accessories but yeah it's got more of a uh, current generation feel to it the the buttons do feel solid uh, it's kind of weird because it's so light um, like I said but once you hit these buttons you do get the good amount of resistance um, it does feel good actually now a cool feature that they have added is you can see the turbo buttons here um, just your run-of-the-mill turbo Hold it, press the button you want, turbo activates, clear, button you don't want, turbo clears. So yeah, I think they just wanted maybe to fill something here. A nice little addition to the controller there uh, for those, um, I don't know what you would use it on. Maybe like Rampage? Break the buildings or something? I don't know. But yeah, turbo feature. Now moving on to some accessories. Uh, ones on the right are accessories that are known, or actually, had they've stated, the company has stated that these work. This is of the mill memory card, uh, aftermarket memory card plus. 
and of course your Nintendo 64 uh, rumble pack. These do work on this controller. Unfortunately, the transfer pack for um, Pokemon Stadium does not work with this controller. Now, um, I have not tested this myself. I just, I just haven't. Uh, no real particular reason. But I did receive an email from them stating that it does not work. So. Um, I'm just going to take their word for it. If you or anyone else wants to try it out and disprove that, feel free to do so. And let me know. I'm just passing along the information that was sent to me. So, uh, yeah, Pokemon Stadium Transfer Pack does not work with this controller as far as I know. Everything else should. Now, just a quick shot of the two controllers side by side. Um, I was always a fan of the N64 controller, so I never had a real problem with it. Um, but... This is very similar to 360 Xbox One controllers, which I really, really like. I find them a lot more comfortable than anything else. Uh, I'm an Xbox person. Uh, nothing against PlayStation, they have a very good controller as well. But comfort-wise, uh, these controllers, I don't know, they just do it for me. So the fact that they went with this uh, is just another bonus. I mean, I, I like N64 anyway. So, um, so yeah, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and try it out. I don't know if this is going to replace this. Like I said, I had no issue with this. This is actually kind of comfortable for me. Uh, I don't mind it at all. I know some people don't, though. So essentially, that's what this is for. See if... Uh, this is uh, maybe your controller. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play a couple games with this. I'll let you guys know what I think. All right guys, so I spent a little time messing around with these controllers, playing some games. I have a stack of games here that I chose for uh, mainly fun and to also try a few things out. Now a few things to note, um, the weight on the controller is uh, kind of like, it's a little off-putting. It feels really light to me uh, and I did weigh them. The original N64 controller weighs um, just a tad under eight ounces, and this weighs six and a half. Now, it's it's really minimal, and uh, and a lot of people might not even see it or realize it. But when you use something for so long, and you get something that's that's different, you you, you notice that. So the controller does feel a little bit light. I don't want to say that it makes it feel cheap because it really doesn't. It's just a I don't know. It's just a weird weight thing. But slap a rumble pack on there does make up for it so you know these these are personal gripes personal minor gripes the controller is awesome but like I said I never had an issue with the old one so uh, yeah these are uh, just tiny things that uh, that I found also um, while messing around with it I do I did notice that the uh, the stick hits the left bumper button um, which I don't know if it's just uh, on my controllers I've only opened the two and it's on both of them or if it is every single controller now one of the games that I chose um, I chose specifically to see if that would you know it would hinder you during gameplay it's it's a little noticeable it's more it's kind of annoying but I mean you can you can see past it and just use the controller really so um, yeah, it's uh, all in all, it's a very good controller. So, played some Mario 64, of course, staple in the N64 library. I was really happy with it. Um, the stick is really smooth, um, and the positioning of the Z button is really nice. So, yeah, uh, I mainly did this one for fun, uh, just because you kind of have to, you know. So, really good experience uh, playing uh, Mario 64. Now. Um, this next one, GoldenEye, another staple. Everybody's going to try and play this with these controllers just to see how it is. This is where I found the issue with the uh, left bumper stick. Now, when you do your um, aiming uh, in GoldenEye, you have to hold uh, the L button. Actually, I don't know, you can do both the L and the R. So, um, so depending on if you're ambidextrous or left-handed or right-handed, you might you know, run into this. But um, when you do the the, the free aiming, uh, where you hold it and the reticle comes out, that's when I started noticing that the stick is actually hitting the, uh, the bumper and it, you know, it, it jams it, just like you see here, or it, uh, it moves you off of it. Uh, so it's kind of like a spotty aiming. Um, then again, you can just aim with this one and boom, it's fixed. It's kind of irrelevant. You might run into it here and there but 
that is the only gripe that I found with this game. Runs smooth. Um, the strafing with the buttons is nice. The actual yellow, the C buttons on this controller are, uh, I'd say like a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker than that 64 ones. So it's, it's nice. It's easier. A lot of people probably like me, uh, do the thing where you hit the button with the tip of your finger and then do the other one, uh, with, uh, the bottom part of your thumb. So that's really nice for that. That, that was a huge plus. It felt, just felt comfortable, you know? Um, Dr. Mario, uh, mainly chose this game so I can test out the D-pad. Uh, same thing, very responsive A and B buttons for switching the uh, the pill orientation. Also really nice. The buttons the buttons itself are, are really good. Uh, can't really complain about that. Um, I also played uh, a little bit of Star Fox. Um, this was just because I wanted to, so yeah. Uh, and, of course, the, uh, the stick killer, the blister maker, uh, Mario Party. Uh, I did pick this to test the stick and, uh, well. But all in all, it held up. Very happy with it, so. Yeah, final verdict on this. Um, it's a good controller. I would definitely use it, uh, depending on the game. Uh, is it going to replace my N64 controllers? Um, not for every game. Uh, there are certain instances where you do feel very comfortable for this. With this, uh, I don't know if it's just me. Like, especially in GoldenEye, um, probably because I'm used to playing all this other stuff. I look for the second stick uh, on this controller. That's how comfortable I feel with it. It's almost like I'm playing an Xbox controller. So I'm trying to move the camera with this and my character with the left stick, but there is no right stick. So the strafing is a little. Uh, was a little clum. I was a little clumsy. Let me rephrase that. I was a little cl clumsy with the strafing at first, but you get used to it. Um, it does not work with all the accessories. I think I pointed out that it does not work with um, the transfer pack for Pokemon Stadium. It also does not work with the microphone in Hey You Pikachu. Uh, you you just can't get. It just won't stay. Um, the memory card that I did use was an official one and uh, that that did work so I think that is that is it oh um, cord length I don't know the exact length on the N64 cord uh, as opposed to this one but the N64 cord is longer by about a foot uh, but as you can see you do get a good amount definitely a few more than a few feet so you, you don't have an NES classic situation where you're right up against the TV so um, yeah retro fighters N64 brawler gamepad uh, big thumbs up if you are able to get your hands on all of these and I know the consensus is that people don't like the N64 controller get yourself one of these uh, it is gonna change your mind you're gonna be able to enjoy those games because uh, the system has some good games you'll be you're gonna be able to enjoy them more with this game pad so yeah uh, like I said big thumbs up uh, I think these are gonna be releasing uh, I want to say April maybe uh, for around the $30 mark. So if you are interested, go get yourself one. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that little review for the Brawler Pad 64. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you guys next time.